anger is very out of control. I absolutely take most of my anger out on Jeremy. Sauce it up, sauce it up. This is mushrooms. Okay, I was just asking. All right, I was just telling you. Anything could set her off. Why would you put it on there looking like that? All right, my bad. Over the smallest thing, Victoria completely goes off the deep end. Jeremy does purposely try to make me mad. I think it's entertainment to him. When I get in a rage, anything breakable in sight is going to get broken. These are all from throwing bowls. I'll break glasses. I'll punch holes in walls. This is from a hairspray can that I threw. I'll slam doors. She'll grab whatever she can get her hands on. Maybe a simple I'm sorry for putting cheese on the pizza. That'd be great. I already did. When we were right there and you told me the You did not say you were sorry. Don't lie and say you said that you were sorry when you did it. Said I was sorry. No, you, you didn't, Jeremy. Want... No, the you didn't. You did not say that you were sorry. Oh my freaking Ugh! I'm literally shaking, so angry. I blame Jeremy for all of this because ever since we've been dating, I've been raging. And nobody that loves each other in their right mind will try to stress out the person they love every day with the same crap. All this is absolutely Jeremy's fault. I'm a little confused, so help me get my bearings. Are, are you here to defend what you do, understand what you do, or change what you do? I'm here to understand and change what I do. I want to understand why I'm like this. I need to learn how to control my anger because I want this relationship to work so bad. I have went to multiple therapists uh -huh. growing up and nothing ever seems to help. This rage is uncontrollable. I don't even feel like me anymore. You know, anger is like a really pervasive odor. Uh, it just permeates every aspect of your life. You can think that you're angry in one area or you have bitterness or hostility in one area and you think, well, that's in this area. It doesn't affect everything else, but that's not true. It's kind of like a skunk that sprays in a field down the street. You know, it just kind of goes through the whole neighborhood and the whole house and it just gets in every nook and cranny and you can't escape it. That's the way anger is. It changes your sensibilities. It changes your reactivity. It changes your irritability with your children, your friends, yourself, everything. And so unless you resolve that, it's gonna to continue to control your life. And you need to ask yourself, what am I angry about? What's triggering this? And what can I do to get resolution? And remember, you have to go back and look. Sometimes you're angry about things that happened 10 or 20 years ago that are still festering inside. And don't look at topics. You're not angry because the tricycle was left in the driveway. You're angry because of something that's happened that has changed who you are. It's made you feel victimized. Take anger out of your paragraph and put in its place, instead of saying, I'm angry, I'm hurt about this, I'm afraid about this, or I'm frustrated about this. When you do that, you'll start coming up with some insights.